Hello there, this is Alex, and I have a few more tips for you in Watch Dogs Legion. I will be explaining things like exclusive special gadgets you can acquire, expanding your arsenal, shooting while driving a vehicle, and a really strong weapon you should start keeping an eye out for as soon as possible. This is going to be a direct continuation from my tips video I did just a few days ago, so if you haven't seen the 7 tips I covered already in that, I highly recommend you check that out first, which I'll have linked to in the top right corner of the screen right now, and also down in the video description. If you have already gotten up to speed by watching that, or just want to skip right into continuing on with tip number 8 coming up in a moment, well, either way, enough of me filling time to show off in this intro footage, let's now get into some of the more nuanced gameplay mechanics and systems in Watch Dogs Legion. Tip number 8, Enemies Make the Best Friends Some of the most powerful combat-focused NPCs in Legion are actually the enemies that are constantly trying to take you down. By observing key NPCs, specifically the ones with weapons that you don't have access to yet, or the ones with extra exclusive gadgets, are the ones that you'll want to save as possible recruits, so try not to kill them so you can go win their love and affection a little later. This Clan Kelly Enforcer, for example, comes with a special Elite Seeker Spider, which is an auto-homing spider bomb gadget that can be used alongside your other gadgets or an entire other spider bot. Another Enforcer I came across had an Elite Turret Spider that was a pretty cool looking golden red, which auto-targets and shoots at nearby enemies, similar to the Combat Spider Bot. There's a handful of Elite enemy units that will have exclusive gadgets like this that you'll want to keep an eye out for, so if you really appreciate how someone is trying to kill you, why not switch it around and use them yourself? Also, as you progress through the game, you'll need to expand your weapon arsenal, and looking out for new powerful weapon types is also what should help focus your recruitment. Let's say you come across an NPC that dislikes you, however, and doesn't allow you to instantly pursue their recruit mission. No problem, jump into their deep profile after adding them to your recruit roster, which will show their daily activities. In here, you can pin recruitment leads for that NPC on your map, which are micro-objectives you'll need to go and complete before they'll start warming up to you. After finished, that associated NPC will then allow you to take on their side mission, which will lead to them joining your team. Almost all of your enemies in Legion can be converted, but just try and refrain from shooting them all in the face, because you might actually want to add them to your roster later. Number 9, Shooting While Driving This next one is something I didn't know you could do for an awkward amount of time, actually just a few days before making this, because when playing on a controller, it can be easy to miss the fact that you can shoot while driving. On mouse and keyboard, this is much more intuitive, you just hold down right click to go into aiming mode, which is what most players will naturally try to do anyways, but on a controller, you need to toggle the vehicle firing mode by pressing up on the D-pad. This will allow you to fire any weapon type you have on you while still being in full control of the vehicle. When you're in this aiming mode, you will notice however that the vehicle will somewhat slow down so you can better control it, and if you want to get back into full speed driving, press down on the D-pad to switch right back. Shooting from a vehicle is obviously a super easy way to get the authority swarming you, but if you want to have some simple fun trying to reach and maintain a max wanted level, this drive-by mechanic will be absolutely vital for continually poking the Legion beehive. Number 10, Stun Fun. This one is yet another thing to keep an eye out for during your Legion travels, the immensely strong, at close range, stun gun. At a slight distance, as you can see here, it's not very powerful at all, but once you get into its intended range, it will outright take down most all enemies in just one shot, just not the heavily armored ones. If you prefer playing from a distance, don't bother with the stun gun, but if you find yourself often in combat scenarios where you're within 10 or so feet of your target, you might want to consider having this thing in your holster at all times. You thought the shotgun was the close range powerhouse of your arsenal? Nope, the stun gun is the best way to play up close and personal thanks to its silent but deadly close proximity power. And that's it, a few quick things I wish I had included in my previous tips video. Consider this like an expansion pack to that. 
I really think everyone should know all the stuff I covered in both of these before going into Legion, because you're going to have a better time depending on how much you choose to invest into some of its more optional but fun mechanics. Now if you happen to find anything I covered in this or my previous video to be useful, let me know that, and also if you've figured out some other cool extra gameplay depth yourself, let me know that as well and I'll pin those bonus tips down in the comments section below. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to give Boomstick Gaming a watch, this has been Alex, and I'll be seeing you next time.